When we think about living our green values, we often think about the things that we should give up. But does living a green life mean that we can't live a good life? David and his family live in Surrey, BC, in a community and home they chose as part of their pursuit of a more sustainable way of living. We chose this house here in the Newton area of Surrey because it's one of the few places in Surrey that is quite pedestrian friendly. Surrey's very sprawling. But here we tend to park our car on a Friday and don't need to use it for at least the weekend and, and can often get around. We can get to our community garden, get to our social things, get to children's activities. It's all in walking distance. I have two young kids. It seems very natural and very easy to uh, green my children. I don't think it's anything that I'm imposing on them. I think it's just a matter of making those things, making them enjoyable. I mean, just. I'm thinking about television, for instance. We watch very little television in our, in our house, and it's not that we're anti-television, it's just that we take the effort to, you know, play board games or go to the garden or um, do creative things with recycling materials and, and um, with an emphasis on those relationship things. For David, having a good quality of life and living a green life are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they go together. For me, the idea of living well is to know that my existence is not hurting anybody else or not hurting this planet. As we look at the changes that are going to happen, there are some sacrifices that we need to make, but I think it's really important that we also look at what we stand to gain with this opportunity to reinvent and rethink and rebuild our world and our communities, and I think there's huge potential for us to create something that's more connected, less stressful, more powered down, more healthier, more, more happier. The idea that we might stand to gain from building more sustainable and resilient society is not always what we think of when we talk about the environment and the challenges involved in dealing with climate change. There's that old, uh, you can't have your cake and eat it too, that is kind of weighing on us, that if there's something we should do, then it's gonna make me not as happy. I think quality of life is more like uh, just living life to the fullest, like really enjoying life. Quality of life is it's easier to um, take care of your needs. So food, water, shelter, so the cost of food, the cost of transportation, and um, the cost of housing. So I, I really like having a quick, a really, really easy access to have my needs covered. That's, that's one of the things I like, quality of life. And then after that, I mean, life's just, um, whatever you want, you want to make it, right? Meeting those core needs for things like food, housing, transportation, and time off from work is easier for some of us than for others, depending on whether we can find decent jobs and incomes, or whether we can afford to live close to our workplaces, and whether important services like childcare are available nearby. When I think about living well, I think about having balance in my life between work and not work. And um, it's, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to find a, a job where you have enough time off. And that's really important that um, I have enough time in my week to, to, you know, have conversations about where our food comes from and, and be able to um, walk down to the ocean and, and, and go swim in the lake close by. And um, again, that's such a privilege to be able to have that. And it, it's a huge contributor to my um, quality of life. Within our culture, um, if we had um, quality jobs and like a living wage, um, then people would have the time and the space and the energy to, I think, devote more to these types of issues. Um, so I think like getting everybody to a place where like they do have time to ride their bikes to school or work and the energy to do that because like they're not working 12 hour shifts or they're not working three jobs or whatever. Yeah, ensuring that everybody is in a place where they can have these conversations and make meaningful change.